Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Hunt. Today, I'm going to be hooking y'all up with the best jump shots for all builds, small, tall guards, poppers, everything that you need. And I'm going to be hooking y'all up with the best settings. So without wasting no more time, let's just jump straight into this. After this video, I'm going to be labbing the dribble moves and I'm going to have dribble moves out before the end of the night. So make sure you got noties on. Dribble moves are coming ASAP. That's literally what I'm labbing right now. I labbed the jumper first. Now it's time to get into the dribble moves. Also, another thing I want to say is I know I just posted a build video and I swear to God, I'm so sorry, but I made one and I swear I remade my build just one time. This is my official build. There's money on this build. I'm not making another one. So the last video I posted, this is a better version of the guard I just posted. This is literally a better version of the same build. I ended up making this. This is my final one. I apologize, but... This is a build that I made that you guys could trust. I already got money on it. I'm keeping it all year. The other build, don't make that one. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, this is my official build. Now, when it comes to the settings, that's the first thing I'm going to go over is there's not really anything in this regular setting besides turning vibration off, which I'm pretty sure isn't even here. You're going to want to turn your game difficulty to Hall of Fame so then you could grind them badges. It's the best way to get badges. After that, go to controller settings. From here, you're going to want to turn vibration off because when you get into a game, you're going to feel the vibration immediately and it's going to be annoying. I'm telling you that. So turn your vibration off. If you have a PS5, go to your controller settings, turn trigger intensity all the way off. After that, shot timing profile, you're going to want to put this on high risk reward because high risk reward is basically green or miss. That's the best way to get your green window up and to shoot them consistent greens. If you're not a comp player, you could go with something else, but this is what I'm going to be using all year round. This is what the majority of players are going to be using all year round. This is the meta, the comp thing to do, whatever you want to call it. So high risk, high reward, definitely. I'm not good at layups. I'm going to be honest. I... I'm really 50-50 with layups. I don't really take them. So I put mine on normal risk reward because I didn't want to mess anything up. Because if I don't green it, I don't want to be penalized. You feel me? So I just put mine on normal because I'm not really the best with layups. I might switch to high risk in the future. But that's what it is for now. Now for the shot time and visual cue, I got to put at set point. But there's another thing you guys are going to want to keep in mind when it comes to this. So we'll get to that in a minute. Other than that, the other thing you're going to need is to disable passive dribble hand switches. This has nothing to do with shooting, but if you're standing still, this will switch the ball from the right to the left hand. If you're AFK or whatever the you know situation may be, this can mess up your combos and will mess up your combos. So take that off, and now let's get straight into the jumpers. Now, when it comes to the jump shot that I'm rocking right now, it's getting error coded. All right, let me show you all the jumper. Oh, y'all cannot see my PC right now. Display capture image. All right, give me one second, y'all. I'm popping up the other jump shot right now. Maybe I'm not. All right, so the other jump shot that I got to show y'all, this is the one for poppers and tall guards. I'm going to pop it up on the screen right now. I have my popper send me this and I gave my popper this jump shot so he could be chicken and so me and him can run. I know this probably looks terrible right now. Let me just zoom this out. Bro, this is cruised. This is cruised, bro. The video is cruised, but still drop a like because y'all love Haunt and because Haunt's always hooking y'all up. I'm going to use this jump shot all year round so y'all know when y'all come here, y'all going to get stuff I use all year round to build jump shots. This is stuff I'm going to be using all year round. This is the jump shot right here, though. I use everything on set point. So, I mean, I would switch it to set point. But Jarrett Culver base, that's the new T-Mac, unless you have T-Mac unlocked from starter three. Other than that, Oscar Robinson and Sadiq Bey. Here's the blending. I already gave you all the settings. Now let's hop back over real quick to the game so then I can show you the jump shot that I'm using on my small guard. As you guys can see, I upgraded this build only. The other build, I trashed it. I'm not going to be using it. I'm about to delete it in a minute. And it's 6'2", which gives you a little bit extra height over the 6 foot that I did make. So that's just another bonus. You feel me? Now we're going to load in. Now when it comes to my jump shot, this is the jump shot I'm using on my small guard right here. So 
these are the jump shots those are the settings i hope you guys enjoyed this video try and get this video to a thousand likes man if you guys want some comp dribble moves i need this video to get smashed with likes and i'll hook y'all up but until the next time your boy hunt is out these are the best shooting settings and the best jump shots for all builds